Hello everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you how to install Windows XP uh, with ASCI SATA drivers uh, without any blue screens and anything like that. So here is my uh, legit copy OEM of course version of the Windows XP Home Edition uh, comes with everything I mean my country version of Windows XP so I've got this uh, original uh, CD this is the original CD of Windows XP Home Edition and this is the uh, language uh, pack for my uh, language as you can see but there are some Windows XP ISOs available uh, in the internet but I don't want to trust those ISOs with anything drivers or anything like that but I'm going to do in this video is to install Windows XP original Windows XP copy into this computer so to do this you need a floppy drive and a floppy diskette with uh, ACI drivers uh, from your uh, motherboards uh, support page or from uh, driver CDs or from whatever you got the driver that is compatible with the motherboard all right so here you go the let's prepare the windows install this is the CD we are going to put in our computer save is back too but yeah whatever so I'm going to Bore up this uh, computer, so I'm going to put this. Oh, yeah, I, I forgot. So, if you have a Windows XP computer, you should have a floppy drive to put some diskette, or maybe you should uh, have a GoTech a floppy disk emulator to do this, but I don't have. So, here we go with, uh, with retro stuff. I'm going to put uh, the diskette and the uh, CD for Windows XP installation disk and there you go so now I'm going to reboot there's uh, other ways to do sort of integration of uh, SATA ACI drivers to NLight but I don't really recommend to do this stuff because uh, NLight uh, can corrupt some of the system files and if for some reason you want to update that installation pre-configured with NLight for some reason it doesn't work so you need to reinstall the operating system and blah it's a pain in the butt so whatever that's why I'm going to show you this method so the hard drive the SATA it's configured as a HCI which is very good so let's uh, discard everything so what we are going to do is to boot into our installation disk I mean Windows XP install disk so I'm going to boot from OptiArc where I have the Windows XP install disk in it and uh, yeah it's booting from that disk and the floppy so let's uh, press the F6 if you need to install a third-party SCSI drivers so there you go we have this screen which tells us setup could not determine the type of one or more mass uh, storage devices installed in a computer so we are going to press S to specify additional SCSI adapters so I'm going to press S so we have uh, four uh, drivers so our motherboard has ICH9 as a south bridge which acts like a storage controller so we are going to press or select this uh, this driver that's our correct driver and enter and it's loading from floppy yeah, so there you go, we have this uh, driver selected and let's go! And it's loading other files which we don't need it for this uh, computer. So I'm going to fast forward a bit here because it's taking a while to boot this uh, installing, I mean the install disk. 
So it's starting Windows, but it takes years. But it should not uh, blue screen while it's in setup. And I think it's working. Hey, there you go. And uh, you can install the Windows as usual. And accept. And there you go. So the hard disk is uh, showing on AACI mode and we can format the hard drive and yeah it's loading the driver from the floppy and yeah now it's done loading As you can see, we have this uh, display settings thing, but I'm going to skip the OV thing. So, yeah. And uh, there you go, the Windows XP is running on ACI mode. So, I'm going to do the thing to really show you ID. ATA and there you go. So this is the ACI controller, the driver that never came with Windows XP, Service Pack 2 or Service Pack 3. So most uh, people used uh, on their SATA controllers the ID mode. So that's really about installing Windows XP without modifying the ISO or the installation disk. Uh, with any software that does more trouble than good. And uh, yeah.